They say traveling expands one's mind, enriches your soul and changes one's personality. New cultures, new people, different places put you in the situation of adventure and unpredictability. Some experiences are so different and new, they are comparable to learning new worlds, where the new you is a part and a parcel of it. Cappadocian lands are such lands which are like nothing else and are most suitable for such explorations, as its landscapes give you the real feeling of being somewhere out of our world. Some call it the land of beautiful horses, and some the land of fairy chimneys. For me it is the land of three dimensions. Upper world is the world of the morning golden hour, where numerous giant colorful balloons float among clouds and fog with the first rays of sun. The earth is the land with a lunar landscape and bizarre caves where people still habitate. And the third world is the underground world of underground cities which are as big as our real cities where we live today. All this seems like a surreal dream, isn't it? But this is a waking dream. There is no better place than Cappadocia to experience the hot air balloon ride. But you have to be patient and plan your trip to Cappadocia, considering that the balloon ride can be postponed because of the changing weather conditions and the weather is always unpredictable. So keep in mind plus minus 2-3 days more for your stay in Cappadocia to wait for the right moment for the flight. Trust me, the wait is worth it. Get ready to wake up very early in the day of your balloon adventure, as all the flights in Cappadocia are made during the sunrise hours. It is made not only with the reason to show the morning beauty, but because of the physical conditions which are needed to make balloon to take off. The balloon is rising up because of the differences between inside hot space and outside cool morning temperatures. In the daytime, the surface of the Earth is warming up unevenly, what makes the flight unsafe. Till date exists a mystery about Cappadocian actual geographical boundaries. We don't have any precise information about its exact borders. It is considered that its uh, northernmost point is Ponting Mountains and its southernmost point is Taurus Mountains. But where does its eastern and western borders expand to? We still have no clue. This surreal lunar landscape was formed around 60 million years ago due to natural geological processes. Because of numerous volcanic eruptions, the land was covered with a thick layer of ashes, which with time transformed into a soft rock called tuff. Later, nature's forces like wind and water shaped it into the unique forms of fairy chimneys. If you are going to the Cappadocia for the first time, I think Göreme is the best village town for a stay during your trip. First of all, it's kind of center of Cappadocia with all the necessary facilities for the tourists, including hotels for every budget, big number of shops, cafes, restaurants, and gives you a comfort to conveniently organize the touristic excursions. 
or reach any sign scene you like by your own. Second reason to stay here is that the city contains big number of fairy chimneys and rock carved dwellings everywhere. So to enjoy this lunar style landscape you don't need to travel further, you just need to step out from your hotel and voila! Moreover, here in Gurame many of rock carved dwellings are still inhabited by the locals and you can become one of them at least for a while. Big number of rock carved dwellings are renovated into boutique cave hotels, which give you the unique opportunity to fully immerse yourself in this atmosphere of living in a cave. First human settlements were made by Hittites during the Bronze Age. So can you imagine how old is the history of this place? Moreover, Cappadocia is considered to be one of the centers of Christianity even before the religion was officially recognized. Christian people who were persecuted first by Romans and then by Muslims found their shelter here and used to hide in the cave dwellings of Cappadocia. They have left a lot of churches and monasteries carved in these caves. One of such ancient monastic complex is located here in Gurme within walking distance on the territory of Gurme Open Air Museum. It used to be a site where Orthodox Christian monks hid during religious persecution in the Middle Age. They have left frescoed cave churches with images from biblical stories and saints, which can be seen today. The approximate age of the majority of the churches and preserved frescoes dates back between 9th to 12th century. The surprising brightness and good quality of such ancient frescoes was preserved because of its hidden location inside the man-made carved caves. You will notice that the most of the images depicting human beings have a raised face or gouged out eyes. This was done during the Muslim invasions, as its religion is not allowing any images of God. One more mystery of Cappadocia is the system of underground cities. Till date, archaeologists have found around 36 underground cities below the Cappadocian lands. They are all similar to each other and have a structure of connected narrow tunnels with different premises for school, kitchen, winery, livestock premises and living rooms. The underground labyrinths cover the huge underground multi-story space and were always connected with the upper world. The main purpose of the underground cities was the temporary shelter during the invasions. The tunnels and entries were purposely made so narrow so that the enemy couldn't reach its people very easily. For quite some time underground cities were secret its existence was revealed recently, in 1960s. Thank you all for watching this episode. Please leave your likes, comments and subscribe to our channel for more updates from Kafekovsky.